Every entrepreneur wants to go global. Selling products or services globally has become a major source of revenue for businesses. But in order to sell your products globally, well, outside India, then you need an IEC, that is Import Export Code. So here in this video, on behalf of Legal Rasta team, I should explain you on what exactly is IEC, what are the various benefits of it, what are the documents that you would require for its registration, and how can Legal Rasta team can help you with it. An IEC is known by many names such as Import Export Code, Importer Exporter Code, or Import Export License, or Import Export Number, and it is governed under Foreign Trade Act 1992. Also, it is a 10 digit code which is provided by DGFT. An IEC code is compulsorily required by any person or a company engaged into import export of goods or services in and out of India. It is also valid for all the divisions or the units or the branches or factories of the applicant. It is valid for lifetime and there is just no need to renew it. Well, there are various benefits of IEC, that is Import Export Code, and some of which are take on the basis of IEC, companies or firms can set their benefits from DGFT, Customs and Export Promotion Council, and also taking your products or services to the international market can enlarge your business. An application for IEC must be made in Ayat Niryat Form 2A format which requires the basic details of your business and its proprietors or the directors or the partners as well as the bank statement and the bank certificate. It is required to be noted that a PAN card number is mandatory for an IEC code allotment. Also, against a single PAN card number, a single IEC code will be allotted. Then, the complete documents are submitted to the DGFT office. Applications which are complete in all its respects are usually disposed of between 5 to 15 days. In order to get your IEC code, well, you need certain sort of documents which are bank card, the bank account statement, a cancelled bank check. Also, you need electricity, water or telephone bill. If the property is owned by you, then copy of the property papers. If the property is rented, then copy of the rent agreement. If you are into a partnership, then copy of the partnership deed. And if you are into a company, then two company letterheads, as well as copy of the certificate of incorporation. We at Legal Rasa have helped a thousand of companies to get their import export code. If you want to be one of them, all you have to do is go to our website that is www.legalrasta.com, select import export code, fill a very simple online questionnaire, and also then you will receive an email from us regarding the next few steps as well as the documents required. Submit the documents and you're done on your part. The rest will take care of it. We'll then form all your documents and draft it or post it to the DGFT office. Once your import export code is allotted, we'll let you know. And also in case you have any queries or you want to track your status, you can contact us at 875-000-8585. I hope you like the video.